Hi, this is a walkthrough for dynamically bringing an image into PowerPoint. In our example, we'll be using the Draw Loop logo to dynamically merge an image into a PowerPoint document. For the first step, we must first upload the image to our Documents tab. Once the image is saved, we must grab the image ID or the document ID and store that data in one of our related objects. In this case, we've designated an image ID field on the account level for the image ID. And we must add the image extension to it, in this case, .jpg. As a next step, we must add a parameter to a button that calls on the image ID. So we must navigate to the object we're editing, in our case it's the account, then navigate to the custom buttons and links, and edit our current button. At the end of the URL string, we must add an ampersand as well as an image parameter. Each image parameter must start with the word image, but you can have several images by including the number 1, 2, or 3 at the end. Once your parameter is inserted, you must reference either a field or a static image ID. In our case, we're referencing the account image ID field that we've put in our object. Once you've successfully added the parameter in the reference, copy the parameter and save your button. Now we must add the parameter to our document as a field tag. So we must navigate back to our DDP, gain access to our PowerPoint document, then we must designate a location for our image. We can do this by inserting a text box into PowerPoint. Then we must surround our image parameter with angle brackets, similar to how field tags are surrounded with angle brackets. Because our field parameter for our image was titled image, we simply must surround this button parameter image with angle brackets. Then we must save and upload or replace the document inside of Salesforce. Once the document is saved within Salesforce, it is ready for a test run. Now we must navigate to a record from our DDP object and then select the Loop Plus button. Note how the image parameter is currently calling the image ID that we've put into the image ID field on the account level. This confirms that the merge will work correctly. Now we can choose our contact if necessary in addition to our DDP and delivery option and select run. Once the DDP has processed, we can download or view the document in our web browser and confirm that the merge was successful. And as we open up the PowerPoint document, we can confirm that the image was in fact inserted into our PowerPoint document. At this point, I want to note, when using PowerPoint, we will fit your image within your text box. So the size of your image is limited to the size of your text box. And that is how you add an image into PowerPoint dynamically. Thank you.